What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be going over uh, a, an idea of that I've had for a little while of what I would do if I was in charge of Lucasfilm. So I mean, you know, obviously this is just a f for fun, it's not obviously meant to be taken too seriously, this is just for fun. Um, I'm not like saying I'm more qualified than anyone there, but you know there are some things I would do differently so yeah if you like this video then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell uh, for uh, other Star Wars videos like this and you know on uh, books comics video games TV shows movies news all that stuff Star Wars has lots of stuff to talk about so uh, yeah Without further ado, let's just get right to the bulk of the video. All right, so the first thing I would do if I was made in charge is obviously leadership, staff changes. You'd fire people, and you'd hire new people. Um, yeah, obviously Kathleen Kennedy is going. I think it's time to get a new leader, a new president of Lucasfilm. She's had 10-plus years. You know, she's had 10 years. And, you know, we can see her work. So I think it's time to give someone else a, a try and see if they can do it. And uh, there's other staff changes. I think you need to just, you know, clean house. Uh, I probably, that also means, you know, like Dave Filoni as well. Like, I think it's, I think you just need fresh people. Yeah, obviously, uh, most of the people that would stay are people that were there when George Lucas was there. That's probably mostly. And now I know George or Dave Filoni fits that description, but yeah, I, I, don't, I guess Dave Filoni can stay, but he just he can't. I don't think he could be solely by himself developing Star Wars stories because well, Ahsoka was not too good, so. I think he needs some other people to help bring bring him down a little bit so he's not just like, oh, space whales, oh, world between worlds that we're only going to use for resurrecting Ahsoka from dying twice. So, yeah. And uh, then the next thing I would do is uh, I would bring back the expanded universe or legends. Um, yeah, so uh, re restore its state that it was 10 plus years ago, you know, won't hurt anybody. Yeah. And then after that, you uh, take a five year break to risk the franchise. No books, no comics, no video games, movies, TV shows, nothing. You're, you're taking five years off rest in the franchise. Now you might say, well, maybe it should do 10, but it's like, well, I think five years, is long enough that yeah, I think I think five years is bare minimum. Yeah. And then you take those five years and obviously you're developing stories for movies, TV shows, games, books, comics, the whole shebang, obviously. So here's some uh, ideas. So for movies, uh, obviously you take the Darth Bane trilogy, those three books by Drew Carpetian, would make a lovely trilogy of movies on the big screen. They would be awesome. Another book, uh, Shadows, Shadow of the Empire. That book is fantastic. It's got Luke, Leia, Lando, C-3PO, R2-D2, Chewbacca. It's, it's got the crew. You know, it doesn't have Han Solo in it because he's frozen in carbonite at the time, but it's okay. Yeah, it's, I think it would make a fun movie. You know, got a good villain. And then uh, the Thrawn trilogy, you know, Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and um, Last Command. Yeah, that's an obvious, duh, let's make a movie on that. Now you might say, what about casting for that? Well, you recast. You get someone, you get young, younger actors to play Han, Luke, Leia, and all the characters. Um, so, we, so we can get the proper Thrawn trilogy story and not have to have some weird... 
hybrid so we can have the older actors. But we can't even get that now anymore because Carrie Fisher is not around anymore. So you got to yeah, and I, I just recast a movie that I've titled Fallen Jedi, uh, but it's a it's a Count Dooku movie. I think that would be awesome. Uh, as for TV shows, uh, I have an Old Republic show. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go into uber specifics, but, you know, just uh, a long, you know, five season maybe plus Old Republic show that's got you know, factions of like Republic, you know, uh, maybe we'll have um, the Mandalorians doing something. You have the Sith and maybe some other underworld, you know, criminal stuff. Yeah. Like it's a big epic sprawling show. And then uh, a Darth Plagueis limited series, uh, obviously adapting the Darth Plagueis book by James Luceno. I feel like that Darth Plagueis needs to be in the TV show format because there is so much going on in the Darth Plagueis novel. And I think a, a, a TV show, well, a basically a season of a show, you know, so like, let's just say eight episodes, about an hour long or so, maybe six, um, would cover Darth Plagueis pretty well. I mean, yeah, so you'd get a lot about Plagueis and then you'd see... Darth Sidious in that. So, and, you know, Coruscant and all that. It, it's, it would be a really good thing. And then uh, the next uh, show is a Republic Commando series adapting the Karen Travis novels. So, yeah. And you could also add other Republic Commando stories to that. You don't have to just solely adapt the novels for this you could you could also add and make up more republic commando stories or maybe if there's some from the comics um i'm not as familiar with the comics as some of the novels but uh, if there's some Rep republic commando stories in the comics that they could pull from uh they could do that too but you know also make some new stuff up and then uh another idea for a show i had is what i'm calling the adventures of han and chewie and this show would be an animated show. That doesn't necessarily mean it's for, you know, little kids, you know, little five-year-olds. No. It just means that uh, it's, it's an animated show. But, yeah, so basically you just, it's, you know, Han and Chewie before A New Hope. And in this, there would be some adaptations of some books and or comics, like uh, the Brian Daly Han Solo Adventures or the A.C. Crispin on solo trilogy, you could adapt that, but this isn't solely adapting every, you know, like you would also make up other adventures that Han and Chewie would do. Yeah. I think that would be a fun show. I, I, I think it makes a nice animated series and I really like the title, you know, the adventures of Han and Chewie and now on to video games. So I have a old Republic era bounty hunter game. Yeah, I think that would be fun. I think we need a bounty hunter game. You know, we've we've gotten some Jedi stuff, so let's let's do a bounty hunter game set in the old Republic era cuz that's a rich era that you could tell so many stories and it hasn't been done to death. Why not a pod racing game? You know, obviously we have those uh, a couple of pod racing games that came out around Phantom Menace, but you know, they're older games. Why not make a more modern racing game that, you know, you could really make a really fun... Why not set out to try and make the best racing game that you can, make it really fun, and then be fun. And then uh, my last idea for a video game would be a General Grievous video game. And uh, this would basically be... You know, we learn more about General Grievous, his past as a Kalish warrior. Basically, it would be, I, so I guess if if General, if you say you take General Grievous and you make it a series of video games, the first one would be obviously like his origin story. So he wouldn't be Cyborg Grievous. He would be the Kalish warrior, the flesh and blood 
on Kali fighting the the Huck and all that. So I would love to see that. And maybe later games you continue along the storyline. So I think that would be cool. Yeah. And obviously for, you know, some movies and TV shows and video games, obviously some st- stuff that got canceled when Legends was made not canon anymore. So like, you know, Force Unleashed 3, KOTOR 3. Well, no, not KOTOR 3. But why not make a KOTOR 3? Um, yeah. And some uh, TV shows. Yeah, movie-wise. Yeah. But yeah, and, and, all, and for the books, obviously, why not continue and actually finish the Karen Travis um, Imperial Commando? Wrap that story up. Give us Sword of the Jedi, that trilogy, um, and just a continuation. Like, you, you just make more. I think that would be great to see, actually. Yeah, I mean, that really is it. Obviously, books, like, yeah, like, you just, for the books and comics, it's more just some of the stuff that got canceled with the Disney, Disney making Legends, Legends, um, yeah, you bring some of that back, but also some new stuff. Continue the EU storyline or legends. Um, continue that. You know, there's there's still holes that could take some books or comics, but obviously you do have some movies and TV shows. So, but yeah, why not explore some of these characters in different Obviously, in, in the expanded universe, General Grievous does have his story kind of explored. But obviously, I'm proposing a video game on General Grievous. But, I mean, you could do a movie. You could do a TV show. It's like, Again, some of these could become movies or TV shows. or It's like, really, this is just kind of what I probably would prefer the most. So... Yeah, and obviously, this is a lot of stuff that, you know, it's a lot of movies and TV shows. This is clearly, if you actually sat down and actually mapped this out in, like, years, like, this is this is at least a decade of movies and TV shows that, you know, like, yeah, well, maybe you could have a few more TV shows, but this is a lot of movies and stuff. I mean, yeah, because there's a few trilogies on there and stuff, so yeah, like, that's that's a long time, so... Yeah, but as for the books and comics, it would mostly just be bringing back some canceled books and comics, but also just any cool ideas that, uh, yeah, I think would be fun. And obviously continue making new characters and new stories and maybe even making new eras. You know, why not Why not have a story set a thousand years after the Skywalker saga is done and exploring a, a, the Star Wars galaxy where it's super futuristic and stuff like that. I think that could be an interesting exercise. So, yeah. Well, uh, that's about it for this that I've had for this video. So, what do you think of all these uh, ideas? What's your... Uh, favorite idea that I've proposed in this video and uh, what's an idea that you disagree with in this video and uh, yeah and if you feel free to let me know any of your ideas about what you would do if you were in charge of Lucasfilm in the comment section down below I look forward to reading some of those comments don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Until next time, thanks for watching.